Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is the office of the sheriff in Tennessee. And we have to talk about uh, the office of uh, sheriff in Tennessee, a retired Tennessee patrolman, Lewis Sweeney. Uh, Mr. Sweeney, let us uh, welcome you to the show this morning and to tell you how delighted we are to uh, have you here and to uh, talk about a topic that I've been quite curious about myself, and that is the sheriff in Tennessee. I would imagine that the sheriff in Tennessee might hold the same responsibilities as the sheriff in any other town or any other city and et cetera. But nevertheless, let's look at it from that perspective to give us some information in, in reference to your background, education, and your experiences. And then we'll get into the topic of the sheriff in Tennessee during that second segment. Well, first of all, I appreciate you allowing me this opportunity to be on your program. I was born and raised in the military. My father was in the army. I have had, I have lived in Alaska, Maine, Kentucky, and I have traveled throughout the United States, including Canada. The Lord has blessed me with the opportunity to be exposed to many different nationalities, uh, customs and religions and different people. And I appreciate that opportunity to do that. Uh, also, uh, in 1968, my dad had to go to Vietnam. That's what got me to Tennessee. My family is, their family is from, majority are from, are from Tennessee. That's what got us here. So when my father returned from Vietnam in 1972, I joined the Army during the Vietnam War. I was a military policeman. And after that, when I got out, I was honorably discharged from the military police in the Army. Then I attended TSU. And my major was uh, in criminal justice. Then I got hired by the Department of Youth Development of Tennessee, which was a juvenile correctional institution. I stayed there for about almost uh, seven years. Then I was a uh, dormitory supervisor at that time. Then one time, one day I had to take a, a subject in uh, Murfreesboro at MTSU. Then one day I went by, I used to pass by the sheriff department in Rutherford County going to class. Then one day something told me just go in there and fill out that application. So I try to follow my instincts. I went in there and got hired on the spot. So I became a deputy sheriff. Then after about a year, I returned back to Spencer Youth Center. I got promoted in the mid-management position. Then a year later, I was hired by the Tennessee State Department of Safety. I was a special agent, and I was signed to work at the state capitol. Then uh, in 1991, I was promoted to the trooper position. And that's when I had transferred to, uh, assigned to Murray County, Columbia. Well, while in Murray County, uh, in 19, I will say 19, well, 1991 is when I got there, I was the, uh, I was proud of myself. I was the only black trooper in the whole district and now in the county. So that was a good experience right there for me. Then after that, in, two, in uh, I think it was 1996, I joined the Tennessee Army National Guard. Uh, I became the first person in my, in my lifetime that I'm aware of has been out of the service for 23 years to get in the Army National Guard. I was a combat military policeman then. Then also during that time in uh, 2000, I wrote a book. So that was my first time writing a book titled The System of Things. Mm 